Hello traders, it's Tuesday. That means it's time for your final order cutoff video. Now these are the books that are set for final order cutoff this coming up Sunday, March 21st for DC and Monday, March 22nd for Marvel and Independent Books. If you see something on the list that you like and you don't have a local comic shop, shoot me a message and we'll make sure you get your books. And if you're in the Salt Lake area, go visit Greg at Black Cat Comics or any of the great comic shops that we have in the Salt Lake Valley. So here we go, folks. Your final order cutoff videos, the final order cutoff books that are due this week. And here are our books set for final order cutoff for DC Comics, March 21st. That's this coming up Sunday, 2021. First, we have American Vampire, 1976. We're only showing one cover for this book, and I believe there should be two. We also have The Batman and Scooby-Doo Mysteries. This is issue number one of a 12-issue limited run. Next, we have Batman Fortnite Zero Point, issue number two, with two available covers showing. Next, we have a new six-issue limited run, Batman the Detective. This is issue number one, and we've got two open order covers, as well as a 1 in 25 Ricardo Federici cardstock variant. Next, we have Challenge of the Super Sons. This is issue number one of a seven issue limited run. We've got two available open order covers. Then we have Joker issue number two in this run. And this is going to have, I believe, three open order covers. A beautiful Ricardo Federici one in 25 sketch variant of Punchline. Next is Superman number 30. And we've got two available covers for that one. Then we have number two in the six issue limited run a superman red and blue and that one will have three available covers then we have sweet tooth the return finishing out its six issue limited run with issue number six in a single cover and finally we have wonder woman number 771 we're only showing one cover for this one as of now i believe there will be a trade dress on the way and this is a beautiful cover by travis moore and here are your Marvel comics set for final order cutoff next Monday, March 22nd, 2021. First, we have Black Cat, number five. This is going to have two covers. We've got one available to show. Then we have Captain America, number 29, with two covers. And we have a Pachio Reborn variant. We have Children of the Atom, number two. And this is going to have two available covers. We have art available for one. We've got Daredevil number 29 with two open order covers. And there is a Pachio Reborn variant on this one. There's going to be several of those hitting the list this week. New from Marvel, we have Dark Hawk, Heart of Hawk number one. We've got three covers and art available for two of those. We've got Fantastic Four number 30 with two available variants. We've got the Thing variant and a Fantastic Four King in Black variant. Next is Guardians of the Galaxy number 13. We've got a Deadpool 30th Anniversary Liefeld issue and a Pachio Reborn variant as well. We've got Iron Fist Heart of the Dragon issue number 4 of a 6 issue limited run. We've got two available covers for this one, art for a single. Then we have Iron Man number 8. This is going to have two covers including the Pachio Reborn variant. King in Black Namor number 5 which ends this run. Maestro Warm Packs number four, which will have two covers. We have art for one. And of course, we've got Nonstop Spider Man number two. This book has two available open order covers. Next, we have Spider Man Spider Shadow number one of a four issue limited run. This is a new Spider Man series that explores if Spider Man had not gotten rid of the symbiote. There are three available covers showing now. We have art for two of them, but we have several fantastic store variants, including one by our friends at Hive Comics. All right, Trader, so we're, we're here with James from Hive Comics. I just showed you uh, Spider Shadow number one. It's on final order cutoff for Monday. Um, I wanted to bring James on because they've got an exciting announcement. Um, why don't you tell them about what's coming up? Yeah, so we uh, were fortunate enough to team up with Marvel and Alan Qua on this book and uh, have an amazing cover coming out. So we have a blue Virgin variant limited to 1,000, and then we've got another one with uh, 
the uh, reddish and orange tones. That'll be our trade dress. We're still waiting on Marvel to get back to us with our actual trade dress image, um, but we'll have that out within the next day or so. Um, but it goes on sale this Saturday at noon Eastern Standard Time and uh, should go pretty well and sell, sell pretty fast, I would think. Uh, we also reached out to Alan last night and we have lined up uh, a signature series opportunity for it. And we're in the works about uh, a work in the works with him to do uh, some remarks. So we will have those options available as well. Very cool. Very cool. Um, so these are going to be available. And uh, how many trade dress you got? Uh, 3,000 trade dress, 1,000 virgin. So limited print run, 1,000. And that's done. This isn't a partnership. It's Hive exclusive. It's all us. 100%. All right. So there you have it, traders. If you want to get your Hive exclusive um, Spider Shadow number one, they sell them in sets. 9.8 pre sales available. It sounds like we've got some signature series. So hot artist, hot book. And this is, once again, Hive Comics knocking it out of the park, the cover to have. Next is Star Wars Bounty Hunters number 11. We've got two available covers, including the Sprouse Empire Strikes Back variant. We've got Thor number 14, and we've got another Pachio Re Reborn variant there. For our younger readers, we've got Thor and Loki Double Trouble number two of a four issue limited run. And rounding out Marvel, we've got Wolverine number 11, which will have a Pachio Reborn variant. We don't have art for that one yet, just the single A cover. Now for our independent comics with Final Order Cutoff, Monday, March 22nd, 2021. First, from Dark Horse, we have Jenny Zero, number one, with one cover. From IDW Comics, we have Kanto in the City of Giants, number one, starting a new Kanto series. We have Star Trek Year 5, issue number 20, and TMNT Jenica 2, issue number 6. From Dynamite Comics, we have Deja Thoris, Winter's End, one shot which will have five covers. George R. R. Martin's A Clash of Kings, number 12, which will have two covers. Red Sonja, The Superpowers, issue number four, will have 11 covers for open order. Sacred Six, number eight, will have seven covers. And Vampirella Dark Powers, number two, will have 13 covers. Remember to watch our new comic book day video on Wednesdays, where we show all the beautiful covers from Dynamite Comics. From Boom Studios this week, we've got Berserker number two, which will have three covers, a sketch variant, and two art covers. We've got Mighty Morphin number six with three covers. There's currently art for two. Proctor Valley hits issue number two and will have two covers. We only have art for one of those. From Aftershock, we've got Maniac of New York number three with one cover. We also have a new book, Phantom Scan, issue number one, which will have one cover. Scout's Honor is on issue number four, and it'll have a single cover. And Undead by Blood, The Other Side of Eden, issue number two, which will have one cover. On to Oni Press, we've got Keiju Max, season six, issue number one, with a single cover. And finally, from Xenoscope, Man Goat and Bunny Man, issue number one of a three-issue limited run. And this book will have two covers. There you have it, traders. Those are your final order cutoff books that are due this week. I know that I'm going to be looking out for the Hive Comics exclusive Spider Shadow. And I'll see if I can pick up some ratio variants on that one when it comes out. Also, Jules Verne Lighthouse 1 looks like a really great read to me. So I'm going to pick up that one as well. Let us know what you're putting your order in for. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more long-term comic book content. Stay tuned to the channel because later on this week we got our second episode of It Came From The LCS, our local comic book show filmed in and around Salt Lake comic shops with local creators, collectors, and comic shop owners. So, till next time, traders.